What's up, Fox Nation? Welcome to another episode of Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. Boom. Let's... You know what I like about this game? When you finish the level, you get your health back. Because I kind of needed that. Right, I'm going to be more careful than I ever was. Because I've, I've just been reckless. I think I understand the mechanics of the game a bit better now. Like, you really do need your martial arts moves. It's, like, imperative that you get it. Like, you've got to really hit them in the head before they hit, Like, this guy here. So I've got this up kick. It looks cool, but it doesn't... It's not really practical. I need something like that. That's much better. 360 kick. Yeah, you really need... Oh, okay, I thought that spikes. I don't know why I thought that spikes. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. I just... I got my health back. Because I collected 30 jewels, and now I'm back to square... So these purple guys aren't too bad. Alright, let's go. What is this? Okay. How did that not get him? And tigers, you don't fuck around them. Just hit him. Just kick him. Can you imagine, like, Jackie Chan's just in the wilderness and he's just, like, freaking kicking tigers in the face? Doesn't give a shit. Look at him. He's just like, get your bitch hands off me. Look at him. He just doesn't give a crap. He's just like, and he's still smiling. He's like, yeah, kill a tiger. Woo! And he blinks. Like, he's like, yeah. He doesn't blink. Alright. I'm just gonna do that. These snowmen are annoying as. Oh, what hit me? I don't know if it was the pink butterfly or the... You gotta make sure to kick before you jump. Like, so straight away, as soon as you jump, you gotta have your kick out. Because otherwise, you just... Yeah, you just get hit. Alright. So what I like about this game is just so... You just... The levels are quick and short. So it's not, it's not brutally difficult, it's not like Ninja Gaiden, that is just, that game is, if you have played Ninja Gaiden Nintendo, it is the definition of unfair. No, uh, is it unfair? I don't know. It's close to being unfair. <laughs> it has just a lot of bullshit in the game <laughs> that you gotta deal with. This game is a lot more simpler. I think the hardest thing about this game is just... This game doesn't have any of those annoying Castlevania Ninja Gaiden jumps where you gotta jump and there's an enemy just waiting for you, waiting at the end of- At least this game doesn't have any of those hardcore jumps that Castlevania- Oh, come on. Give me something good. Give me some sugar. Oh, some rice. Guys, give it a like down below. What do you like the most of your favorite carbohydrates? Do you, are you a rice guy? Are you a pasta guy? I'm gonna chill out here. That was a bit unusual. These sea urchins suck, man. I don't mind the birds. The birds are okay. They're cute. Okay. Oh, there we go. Jumped over it. There we go. Boom. Game back on the turtles. Turtles are falling down. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're, now we're fighting a, a Cyclops. I assume you hit him in the eye. It's, it's actually really hard to hit his eye. <laughs> Shit, I'm out of Taekwondo. Uh, ta I keep saying Taekwondo. I can't assume these are... Because it looks like a roundhouse kick, and I think Taekwondo was the first sport. Uh, not the first. I don't know, that's a good question. Oh, his, his eyes are bloodshot, so he's almost dead. Yeah, this guy's not too hard. He was a lot... A lot harder than... A lot easier than the frog boss just before that. Um, actually, what I want to ask is... I think we're at the last level. Oh shit, we're actually at the last level of the game. Maybe I should have done this in one part. Oh, that's alright. Now, I don't remember- I remember- I remember the last boss. It was pretty freaking cool, actually. I think it's two bosses, though. At least I'm getting jewels. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. There's no- 
No, come on. I got the bat. It's the small enemies that are such a pain in the ass. I really like this light mechanic because it's not too hard. And look, now I can't kill this guy because he's got the light. But I want to kill this freaking bat, man. I'm so sick of these bats. I'm shooting a fireball at this point. Alright, we're out of the screen, out of the fire. Alright, here we go. I'm scared. It's freaking bats, man. Oh, man. It's I don't know how liberal this game was with freaking small little enemies that you can't hit. That's alright, smash the fire, I don't care. I don't need it. Don't need the fire. I, can't, I, I can see where I'm going. Okay, there's a jump here. No, not the sea urchin. I hate sea urchins. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we got past the sea urchin. Okay, here we are. So I'll leave the frog, I don't care. Actually, you know what, I probably might need that frog. Oh, just a simple nice roundhouse kick. I'll take that, I'll take that. That's a good move. It's a good move to learn a martial arts too. Alright, I've almost got enough jewels as well to get my health back as well. Alright. I'm not gonna lie though, I find this final level a lot easier than the rest of the game so far. I think they overuse that light mechanic too much to make the hard, but I don't think that... Oh, actually, here we go. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Oh, give me some rice. Give me that sugar. Oh! Mmm! Rice. Here you that collab. I want to do some... I want to do some rice sponsorship. Alright, here we go. 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 There we go. Unnecessary pause right there. No, not the nunchuck dudes. Come on, come on, come on. I'm actually worried. These guys are a pain, man. There we go. He's dead. Nice and easy. Just gonna try and stay on top. Don't have to fight any rats up here. It's always what I like about this game. It rewards people who are really good at jumping. So if you're good, if you're good at fighting, just stay on the ground. If you're good at jumping, then then yeah, just jump, jump away. Here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boom, boom. Go through the door. Alright, here we go. The music's getting intense. Getting close to the end. There's skulls everywhere. Skulls of all the people he's slain in combat because he's gross, man. Oh, come on. I actually want to ask, what do you guys think so far of this game? Are you gonna, guys going to give it a try now? Awesome, awesome game. I don't know how expensive it is, actually. Good question. I actually don't know if this game's worth a lot of money or not. I can't imagine it being, being that expensive. Maybe it is. Cause I don't, I don't know if it's on Virtual Console either. Cause I'm just playing this on, um, playing this on the old emulator. So I cannot be bothered plugging out my Nintendo. All right. Du, du, du. The music's pretty cool as well. Sounds like um Ducktales music. Oh no, I got hit by the nunchuck. Just one nunchuck flying in the sky. I love the fists on the ground, they're cool, the fists. Oh. Hell no, we're getting, you're getting punched, mate. Alright, I feel like we're at the end. Alright, we're at the end, we're almost at the end. Obviously, don't touch that laser beams. Because uh, in ancient J China, sorry, I got confused, ja Jackie Chan's Chinese. There's a, uh, you know, they had laser things like that, laser traps. So, it's very common. In the, in the Wu Dynasty. I'm pretty sure in Dynasty Warriors there, there was like laser traps as well. I love that though. Video game logic, man. <laughs> uh, this game's like authentic to Chinese culture. You know, he's got... Jackie Chan's got his, uh, you know, costume on. His martial arts uniform. You know, you're fighting monsters from Chinese and, you know, Asian mythology. And now you're in a castle. We're shooting laser beams. So, yeah, explain that. Explain that logic to me. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, go through. Alright, here we go. Final boss time, I think. Maybe not. Gotta watch out for these spiky balls.
All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get in through. We're getting through. We're getting through. Oh my god, I got hit. I meant to kill his boss with four HP. It's possible. Actually, then again, I've killed all these bosses. Most of these bosses with one health. No, oh, we can do it. We can fight the bosses in one hit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Going up the elevator. Still going up the elevator. Oh, there's elevators as well in ancient China. True story. True story. I guess what I want to ask you guys, the audience at home, what are some, uh, what are some things that you play in a game? You're like, oh, this game is faithful to its culture and it's a, uh, you know, to its thing. I think this is it. The final boss. Oh, it's a sub. It's this. It's a sub enemy. Oh, uh, not mini boss. It's not the boss. It's pretty easy. You just got to. There we go. Got the rhythm down. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Ah, uh, it's still we're going in. I gotta find another one of these dragons. This one's a bit harder because you gotta jump a bit further. Oh, almost at the end. I can feel the boss coming up. Yeah, because I was trying to think um, that question I asked just then. Like games I've played where you fight something a bit unrealistic to what you, I guess Final Fantasy is a bit like that. How, yeah, I guess like Final Fantasy is like that. How you you fight, you know, there's all these different cultures combined together and different, I guess, era of technology. I always thought that was really cool. Yeah, that guy was too hard to do it legit. I'm just gonna use magic on him. I guess it's there to be used. No, come back. Come back, man. <laughs> Why is there like a random Asian guy just like giving me magic back? Oh, anyway. Or well, my sensei. Yeah, how did he get here? Actually, if he teleported here with his cloud, why couldn't he just take me to this castle in the first place? Could save me an adventure. Alright, here we go. This is the final boss. Alright, let's try again. This guy is a freaking asshole. I don't remember being this hard. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do some martial art moves on him. I might do all my specials on him. I might even launch fireballs on him too. Because I know if you... Oh, stop doing double fireballs, man. You can't do that. You have a pattern, man. Stick to that pattern. You know who's one of the hardest final bosses, though, ever on Nintendo? It's the Joker in Bat on the Batman game. He is a psycho. I don't even know. I beat him as well, legit. And I don't even remember how I did it. If you told me to do it right now, I'd be like, uh, yeah, sure. Come on, this guy. Don't do double fireballs. Don't kick me as well while I'm running into you. You know, that's the smart thing to do, and you should be doing that. Right, it's just common sense in martial arts. If someone's running to you, try and kick him. Because your legs are obviously longer than their fist. Oh, here we go. He's dead. I hope I get my health back, because I kind of need health. Got my lady there. Give me, give me a good luck kiss. I'm like, oh no, Jackie, don't do it. Got my sensei here. Give me my magic cloud. Alright, here we go. Final boss time. So you're, on a, you're on a cloud? Making this battle as epic as possible. Punch him. That's what you do. You just punch spiders. That's their weakness. Everyone knows. If you see a spider, just punch it. Actually, I remember if you guys watch Angry Video Game Nerd. One, one of my biggest YouTube heroes. But I remember he did a video. It was on the, the Friday the 13th. No, was it Friday the 13th? No, it wasn't Friday the 13th. It was the Nightmare on Elm Street game. And it's just like enemy. Like all those like classic monsters that you see like in a, hor in a horror game on Nintendo. And it's just like, you just gotta punch him, man. Alright, he's turning red. Alright, I might use my magic fireballs. They do more damage than my fist. And maybe if I'm lucky, it might finish him off. No, I don't have to... No. Alright. Oh, he's dead. Boom. Easy. 
Nice. And there we go, guys. That's Jackie Chan Action Kung Fu. And what a cool ending. You land down, bow to your sensei. That's so cool. He's just running, gets his lady. He's quite attractive, actually. Mmm, move over Princess Peach. And there we go. And the and turns into autumn? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Or changes to daytime, or something like that. I don't know, it's cool. But yeah, that guy's is Jackie Chan Action Kung Fu. Uh, an absolute, one of my favourite staples as a kid. Um, actually, I can't... Now that I think about it, it's actually a teenager when I played this game the first time. I don't remember. I actually don't remember how old I was when I played this, but I love it, man. It's just so much fun, and they're just standing there... Blinking and and the weather keeps changing. Oh, here we go. And she just gives it some cheeky smile. Jackie Chan. Oh, that's cool, man. But uh, you know what? Even though it's an 8-bit game, it still kind of looks like Jackie Chan. I don't know. They did their best. I think it's a cool thing. And here's the credits here. So yeah, I guess um, what I want to ask you guys. Thanks for staying around for this long as well. If you love the video, give it a like, give it a share as always. But is there any other classic games you want me to play? And keep in mind, I will get around to playing it eventually and that. But try and stick, pick, pick something that I haven't played or pick something that's a bit more obscure. Like if you go, oh, play, Alex, play Mario Brothers. Like, no, I've already played it. I've finished it. I don't need to play it again. Maybe later. But I want to play something that's a bit more obscure that most people wouldn't have heard of. Because that's what my channel is about. It's about sharing stuff that you never heard of. Like Overwatch. Not many people have heard of that game. All right, I'm being a dick. All right. But I'm just saying, like, pick something cool, like, that, yeah, not many people get to play. And I'll do, I'll eventually do the Ninja Gaiden Challenge, which a lot of people have been doing on YouTube. I was actually going to do it. My thumb's bleeding. It didn't, it's too hardcore, man. Um, but, yeah, like, I'll eventually do the Ninja Gaiden Challenge. It's All it is is just play Ninja Gaiden the first game, but one continue, and that's it. Just see how far you can go in one, in one go. And then, but what I really want to do later down the track, maybe when I get to... 100,000 subscribers or something. I really want to finish Battle Toads legit. No emulator, no... Because I did play this on emulator. No emulator, no nothing. Just um, legit on a Nintendo. I'll get my camera set up so you can film me. I don't know how to capture Nintendo footage, honestly. But I'll work it out. And I'm going to beat Battle Toads legit. But that's 100,000 subscribers. So if you really, really want to see that now, well... Help me get 100,000 subscribers, so th the best way to do that, obviously, like and share the videos. That's the be best way. And tell your friends about it, man. Bring your friends over. Oh, let's all sit down. Five people. Let's boom. Let's watch this and spread the word. That's all. That's all you got to do. It's hard, though, with YouTube. I know. If you don't like my videos enough to share it, that's fair enough. That's cool. Um, anyway, guys, I'll see you later, Fox Nation, and peace out. See you guys in the next episode. Zzz.